Mastering Electronics Imports from South Africa Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the world of customs brokerage and international trade. In today's video, we will be discussing the customs clearance process for importing electronics from South Africa. So, let's get started. When it comes to importing electronics from South Africa, the customs clearance process involves several important steps that need to be followed. These steps ensure that the imported goods comply with all the necessary regulations and requirements set by the country of import. So, let's take a closer look at the process. The first step in the customs clearance process is to engage the services of a customs broker. A customs broker acts as an intermediary between the importer and the customs authorities, assisting with all the necessary paperwork, documentation, and compliance requirements. They have an in-depth knowledge of customs laws and regulations, which is crucial in ensuring a smooth and seamless customs clearance process. One of the key aspects of the customs clearance process is obtaining a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the payment of any potential duties, taxes, or penalties that may arise during the import process. It acts as a form of insurance for customs authorities, protecting them in case the importer fails to meet their obligations. It is important to note that the bond must be obtained before the goods are imported into the country. Another important step in the customs clearance process is the submission of an importer security filing, commonly known as an ISF. An ISF is a document that provides essential information about the imported goods, such as the shipper's name and address, consignee's name, and a detailed description of the merchandise. This filing should be submitted to the customs authorities at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto the ship in South Africa. Once the goods arrive at the port of entry in the importing country, they are subject to a customs inspection. Customs officials have the authority to examine the goods to ensure that they comply with all applicable regulations, including safety, quality, and intellectual property requirements. This inspection is aimed at preventing the importation of any prohibited or dangerous goods and protecting consumers from potentially harmful or counterfeit products. After the customs inspection, if the imported goods are found to be compliant with all regulations and requirements, they are cleared for release. This means that the goods can proceed to their final destination within the country. It is important to note that any applicable duties, taxes, or fees must be paid before the goods can be released. Once the goods are cleared for release, they can be transported to a warehouse or directly to the importer's premises. It is essential to have a logistics plan in place to ensure the prompt and efficient delivery of the goods. This may involve engaging with transport providers, arranging for storage facilities, or coordinating with other stakeholders involved in the supply chain. And there you have it. A brief overview of the customs clearance process for importing electronics from South Africa. Remember, engaging the services of a customs broker, obtaining a customs bond, submitting an importer security filing, and complying with all regulations are key factors in ensuring a successful customs clearance process. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Disclaimer note below. Happy importing and see you next time.